That future is within our grasp. Now, if we have the courage to seize the moment. To a new Middle East. Ghosts of Beirut is a new four part limited series streaming right now on Showtime. It tells the story of a significant moment in history surrounding the origins of a terrorist known as the ghost that outsmarted the CIA in the 1980s and was responsible for more American deaths than any other person before 9 11. Actor Dermot Mulroney plays legendary CIA Middle East operative Robert Ames. We spoke with him earlier today about why you will want to tune in. It tells the incredibly um, intriguing story of uh, really the dawn of, of uh, modern day terrorism in the Middle East in the 1980s. It was an incredible collection of uh, four scripts when I read it, written by Greg Barker, uh, who researched it so meticulously. There's um, original source material in this that's never been um, written about. Robert Ames is the character I play, who was a CIA agent at the time, family man that lived in the D.C. area, like I did myself growing up. Um, so I had a, a really strong personal relationship to this character. There's a wonderful biography that helped me prepare for this role. Um, so I really got to see inside him and, and his family. But he was a really dedicated uh, American who had an inside line on um, on how to how to work all the in intelligence in this region and was lost early on in this story, um, tragically, uh, as were eight other uh, members of the CIA. So it's a hard story to tell. In the first episode, the United States loses some of their most effective uh, people and then things fall apart uh, even worse. So I play that character um, and was honored to do so to um, portray Robert Ames. When it comes to playing a character that was a real person, how do you approach that differently than someone that, you know, was completely fictional? It's wonderful in this case that there was direct uh, source material to this character and to his background and upbringing and his education and his family. Um, his life was cut short. He is definitely an American hero who gave his life for our country, um, but he's so little known. Um, so uh, I was really touched and honored to play him um, and amazed when I started to research it. Of course, Greg Barker, who uh, really put this whole period of time together and brought it to the screen, had so much uh, resource material for me too. So it's a privilege, but it's also, even as an actor, it's a really lucky thing when you can play someone who has, um, uh, play, you know, play a real life person who has uh, material on him. I've only had that happen a few times. Um, and so it's a, uh, a wonderful, unique way to be able to approach a role. It has interludes from interviews of uh, people who were involved in, in the story when it was happening. Can you kind of touch on that and, and what that brings to a show like this? I was amazed when I saw Ghost of Beirut because um, of course I didn't see them filming. There's actual documentary interviews of people who knew my character, men and women who worked with him at the CIA are commenting on him now in 2022 when we shot it about uh, uh his life and those um, incidents that took place 40 years ago so this would be the first time anyone's hearing these interviews and in in the most wonderful cinematic and unique way the production has cut these into the film along with actual footage uh news reel footage from those times too so uh ghost of beirut is really um Wonderfully unique combination of those media. I was so happy to get this call. Very difficult uh, and moving, meaningful character for me to act in. So thanks to Showtime, um, all the other producers, Academy Award winning uh, producer Daniel Dreyfus um, uh, put this together too. And of course, Greg Parker.